Hank Williams, man. I don't, even, I don't even know what he sings, I forget. Don't put that in there, you can't put that in there because then I'll get made fun of. We're in Montgomery, Alabama. We got hooked up by Honda. They're, uh, they invited us out to test their 2017 Honda 450 and I wasn't gonna miss out on that. I've been looking forward to riding that bike for a long time. So when Jason from American Honda called me and uh, asked me to do this, he left a voicemail because I was actually out on the track riding. And uh, he called me and he said, hey, this is Jason from American Honda. Um, I want you to give me a call back. And my first thought in my head, I was like, shoot, what did I do wrong? Like, I messed something up, I, I screwed up, I'm in trouble. So I gave him a call back and uh, luckily he had a lot cooler news for me than that. He, uh, he invited me to the, to the intro and um, man, to be honest, like that's a dream. That's a dream come true for not just me, but anybody who loves dirt bikes. It's uh, having factory Honda there and bringing bikes to you on a perfect track at a, at a perfect place, um, riding a brand new bike that nobody's ever seen before and uh, having them adjust everything for you, fix everything up. It's just like, it's surreal feeling. So since nobody else has ridden the bike yet, it was kind of uh, it was kind of a shot in the dark. I honestly didn't know what I was in for. I didn't know if it's going to be good, bad, otherwise. Um, I really hadn't talked to anybody the day before that rode it, and I kind of just got on blind. I've been riding my 2016, been riding a couple different bikes here and there, but I was curious on how it was going to be, kind of starting over in a way, uh, with a brand new, brand new frame, brand new everything. I guess they said the only thing that really fits on this bike from previous years is the brakes and the wheels. So it's a completely different bike. Um, the suspension was awesome. I was a little bit, little bit big for it. It was a little soft for me, but uh, being 190 pounds on a stock bike, that's kind of what you have to expect. The power on the thing is so good. It doesn't have rip your arms off power like a couple other bikes that I've ridden recently, but it's, it's smooth and it pulls so much further than my, than my 16 does. And uh, I've even got a few things done to the 16. I've got a piston, a ignition, cam, all kinds of stuff done to it. And uh, this thing is just blew it away, even with a stock pipe. So it's pretty amazing. I can't wait to get a, a good FMF pipe on there and, and uh, get some suspension and get it ready to rip. With the bike being redesigned for this year, it's, uh, it's definitely a lot different to look at, but even when you sit on it, it's, uh, it feels quite a bit different. It's, uh, it's quite a bit narrower feeling than the previous years, and when you sit on it, the previous bikes feel like they've, they've sat down really front end low, and uh, they're maybe a little bit twitchy in the, in the corners and the straightaways and stuff, so this bike has definitely corrected that a lot. Um, feels a lot better in the corners, handles so much better. Um, I, I just can't even, can't even describe how much better it handles than my 16. It's, it's awesome. Now, enough of this mumbo jumbo. We're gonna talk about the important stuff. We're gonna talk about the wheelie capabilities of this bike. This bike has a capability to go wheelie fast. So that's about all I know. It pops the front end up high over them triples and over them straightaways. The races are won and lost in the straightaways. Everybody knows that. I can The 
whole day that I spent on the bike, I, uh, I was thinking about the things that I loved about it. And about the end of the day, I, I started thinking back about the things I didn't like. And uh, really the only thing I could think about was the bike doesn't have black wheels. I mean, I know that Honda probably hears that a lot and I understand why they don't do it, but black wheels are super cool looking. That's just my two cents. Other than that, I really don't think there's a thing I would change about that bike. I, uh, I think they, they nailed it with this one. Man, that's a hard question. Why do I think they invited me out there? I don't, I still don't really know. I don't have the answer to that. I wanted the same thing. Whenever he called me and I thought I was in trouble, I was like, yep, this is the end. I'm gonna have to ride something else. Like, done riding Hondas for the rest of my life. I'm in trouble. To see that they pay attention to, to what I'm doing is really cool. So I'm, uh, I'm very thankful that I got to come out. Um, and it was also cool to get to ride with guys like Andrew Short and uh, Colton Fasciati. <laughs> I think it's funny whenever people get on social media or, uh, or they think I got paid by Honda or I'm getting paid by Honda and I really wish I was. That would be pretty sweet. So I don't know, but I'm not getting paid by Honda, unfortunately. Um, I bought, bought all my own bikes, got them from the local shops for, for years and years. So I, uh, I really, this is the closest I've ever been to, to even talking to anybody from Honda, minus uh, some of the riders. So maybe after this video comes out and I think that they're calling me because I did something wrong, maybe they're actually calling me to be a to be a factory Honda rider. I don't know. If you guys are watching this, I I'm free for the 2017 season. I'm uh, I'm open. My uh, my bikes my, my contract's free. I got a gear deal, but that's about it. So if you guys are ready to sign, you just let me know. Yeah, you can always dream, right? Ride red, bleed red. Yeah.